I do love you quite a lot. <laughs> I you? just love, you just cut through it all. What a load of nonsense. The <laughs> French one like their children. I know. As I said, you don't have to have been to, Fra uh, to, to France figure to that work one that out. out. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> we do get a few comments like that, I'm afraid, on the show. But, um, do, you, do you ever find it difficult, though, to be cutting like that? Do you have to steal yourself ever, or, you just, or does it just... I think on The Apprentice, you never know when you're being filmed. It's not like a show like this. Okay. There's loads of cameras. You're never quite sure when you're, you know, and you're with them all day, every day, right. seven days oh, a week okay. for six weeks. So in the end, your patience starts getting a bit yeah. thin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you find it very easy to say exactly what you think at yeah. uh, any given time. And the face often gives it away when you go... Mm. Oh. Do you ever socialise with them? No. Even one little nifty drink? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I think it's very difficult to be an observer and independent yeah. and, you know, critical and critiquing them and then be their mm. best friend. Do you ever despair, yeah. though? Because sometimes I watch it and just think, Really? Is that the cream of the crop and they're coming out with stuff like that? <laughs> well, I tell you what's interesting. Because the price has changed uh, and it's now a quarter of a million pounds and a business 50-50 with, uh, with Lord Sugar, yeah. um, we're getting lots more entrepreneurs. So people that have never worked in teams before. So they're oh, all right. singular types of yeah. people. Oh, okay. And they're all sort of alpha types yeah. and all want to be the leader. And that's when things start to go wrong. And yeah. people have always talked about men and women in business and in careers and the differences do you still yes. notice with the sort of the, the next generation coming through do you notice greater equality or do you still notice big differences definitely greater equality i think women are coming forward with their self-esteem coming forward with their ideas they're definitely not taking a back steps all the things that i fundamentally believe in <laughs> um and and they want to win you know, this is a big opportunity for them. So, uh, so do you find yourself rooting more for the women? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totally independent. <laughs> but can they, can, do, do you think now that women, young women can be more themselves? Because you and I, you know, uh, and other women, I mean, you're a bit younger than me, but we've had to be quite sort of tough and outspoken and to, to sort of make our way. Do you think that women are a bit more allowed to just be themselves now? Um, I don't know that, uh, that there's a case of not being yourself. I think if you, if you start anything, any business, any friendship, any relationship, not being yourself, mm. it won't last yeah. very long. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's when you try and hide your personality yeah. that it really Authenticity does. Authenticity is Authenticity is really important. Mm. And trying to be someone else or trying to suppress mm. parts of your personality mm. never works. But I think women are not ashamed to say, I'm happy to be a leader, I'm happy to make decisions, I'm happy to lead you. And they often do it in a far more collaborative way mm. uh, and mm. far more uh, nurturing people and explaining their mm. journey and communicating Quite, it's more very of an well. inclusive thing rather Definitely. than men tend to be more my way or the Definitely. highway. 